Hey there, welcome back to the channel. First off, I'd like to say I appreciate all the feedback you all have left on the first two videos. I'm taking everything into consideration, trying to make these videos more enjoyable and higher quality. And I'm working on the audio on this one, so hopefully it's a little bit better with my voice quality. The 1600 point narrative battle sees the 21st Nova Corps assault a separatist trench system. Each trench line is worth three victory points for whichever faction has the most unit leaders within range one of the objective. Destroying enemy HQs also nets an additional victory point. With that said, I hope you enjoy the game and make sure you leave your thoughts below. Each squad of Galactic Marines are treated as Phase 2 Clone Troopers. Each Marine squad is equipped with a Clone Commander, Environmental Gear, Offensive Push, and a DC-15 Blaster Rifle. After making their scout move, the commando droids equipped with vibroblades are the first to activate, rushing up the field and taking cover behind a heavy rock wall. A phase 1 trooper unit attempts to take them out but only manages two hits. The commando droids pass both saves. On the opposite side of the battlefield, the first of three bark speeders moves upfield and fires on a commando droid squad, causing three hits. The commando spend both shield tokens to block two and pass the remaining saving throw. Nearby super battle droids fire their HA rocket at the incoming speeder, dealing a single wound. Another speeder races towards the trench line and shoots at a unit of B1s, causing a single hit and destroying a droid. The third and final speeder activates and fires on the same unit of B1s, dealing no damage due to the heavy cover but applying another suppression token. Galactic Marines advance alongside the Phase 1 troopers and open fire on the commando droids. Three hits are caused, but the droids pass all three saves due to their more advanced plating. The droid AAT hovers in the direction of the incoming speeders and attempts to shoot down the damaged park. Two wounds are caused between the main cannon firing twice. Republic Saber tank attempts to deal some early damage to the AAT and opens fire, causing four crits. The AAT armor holds out, as only one save has failed.
Galactic Marines aim and fire at incoming staffs, causing five hits. Two are blocked with dodge tokens and two more are failed. In the center of the field, Phase 1 troopers deal four hits to a unit of commando droids. A dodge and two shield tokens block three hits, but the remaining save has failed, destroying a droid. A unit of Staps opens fire on a squad of Phase 1 clones, dealing five hits. The unprepared clones fail three saves, killing half the squad. Turn 2 begins with commando droids leaping from cover and charging a unit of Phase 1 clones. Bringing their vibro swords to bear, they deal 6 hits, killing 4 troopers. The saber tank opens fire on the droid AAT, dealing no damage. The gunner then drags the beam onto a unit of droidicas and nearby commando droids, but all damage is stopped with shield tokens. A unit of staffs pushes further into Republic territory, firing at a squad of Galactic Marines, causing three hits. The Marines fail a single save and one model is killed. Two units of Phase 1 troopers combine their fire into a unit of commando droids, using the fire support rule. The hail of blaster fire is enough to destroy the entire squad. A unit of droidicas attempt to shoot down the heavily damaged bark speeder, causing three hits. The speeder fails a single save and is destroyed. After destroying the bark speeder, the droidicas then advance further towards the incoming Republic forces. A bark speeder opens fire on the commando droid unit. Three hits are caused, but the commandos pass two saves and spend a shield token. Galactic Marines take aim and fire at incoming staps, destroying both models. A unit of B1s in the trench fire at a strafing bark speeder, causing two hits. The speeder suffers a single wound. Next, a unit of B2s take aim from the trench and deal two more wounds to the bark, damaging it. Another bark speeder attempts to deal damage to the suppressed commando droids, but only managed to destroy a single droid. Another unit of B1s aim and fire at the damaged bark as it strays the trench, managing to deal enough damage to destroy a second speeder. The troopers who survived the commando droids earlier in the turn disengage from combat allowing their brothers to fire freely at the droids. Only one commando is destroyed so far. The heavily suppressed commandos clear enough suppression tokens to avoid panicking. They recharge their shields and fire at the last bark, dealing a single wound. A squad of Galactic Marines move within point-blank range of the commando droids 
and blast away the entire unit. The AAT fires its cannon twice at the last bark speeder, managing to deal six hits. The speeder passes three saves and is reduced to a single wound. The battle tank then reverses to face the advancing saber tank. A galactic marine unit ends the separatist push on one of the flanks by destroying a unit of staps. The final bark speeder is destroyed as a B-1 unit in the trench line manages to deal an unsaved wound. Galactic Marines push to cover and take out three B-1 battle droids in the trench. The Saber Tank strikes first on turn 3 dealing 6 crits to the AAT. The AAT passes 3 saves and suffers 3 wounds. A Dordica unit attempts to pin down incoming Galactic Marines, killing 2 troopers and applying 2 suppression tokens. A nearby unit of Marines reacts to their brothers being pinned down and opens fire on the Droidicas, dropping all 4 shield tokens and destroying one of the droids. B1s in the trench continue to fire on the incoming marines, failing to deal any damage but adding a suppression token. Phase 1 troopers push up alongside the saber tank and fire at nearby commando droids, dropping both of their shield tokens. The AAT returns fire against the TX-130, dealing 6 crits back to the enemy tank, which fails 4 out of 6 saves, suffering 4 wounds. One of the tactical droids call in a less than effective orbital strike on the pinned down marines, only causing 2 more suppression tokens to be added. A B-1 sniper manages to drop an incoming trooper before the rest of the B-1s in the squad are in range. Another unit of B-1s managed to deal an impressive five critical hits on the incoming Galactic Marines, but the clone armor shows its quality and all five hits were saved. This was pretty demoralizing as the Separatist player. B-2 battle droids push out of the trench line to deal more damage to the incoming Nova Corps, managing three hits through heavy cover. The Marines are saved from losing three casualties by their surge tokens. Only one model is killed. The pain that is Surge Tokens begins to flare as another casualty is stopped by borrowing a Surge Token from a nearby squad. Galactic Marines take aim and fire at the B-2 battle droids, causing 5 hits. The B-2 spend a dodge token and fail the remaining 4 saves, which destroys 2 droids. The AAT aims and double fires its main cannon, dealing 7 crits to the 130. The Saber Tank fails 4 saves and is reduced to a single wound. A 
squad of Galactic Marines advances and fires at the commando droids. This time two droids are destroyed and their shields are drained yet again. Another marine squad tries to take out the remaining droidica. However, the shield token regenerated at the start of the turn sees the droidica survive with a single wound. A damaged squad of phase 1 troopers manages to drop another B2. The Saber tank returns fire on the AAT, dealing three wounds to the droid tank. Both vehicles have a single wound remaining. B1s in the trench manage to deal four hits to a marine squad. The squad passed three saves, a surge token saving another marine. The Nova Corps commander advances and calls in an airstrike on the unit of B1s and droidicas. However, the B1s spend a dodge token, and the droidicas use a shield token to stop all damage. More B1s fire on the Galactic Marines advancing on the trench line, managing to kill a single trooper. Another weakened unit of Phase 1 troopers advances towards the trench and fires at the B2s, causing a single wound. The B2s return fire but deal no damage. Damaged Galactic Marines add their fire against the B2s, destroying another droid. A droidica attempts to deal damage to a healthy Marine unit in the open, but the troopers pass both saves. A unit of B1s fire from the trench and kill another Galactic Marine. Another B2 unit advances out of the trench line to try and kill off the Marine squad in the open, but only manages to kill a single trooper. The Republic wins the tiebreaker for turn 5 and activates the Saber tank first, easily destroying the crippled AAT tank. B1s open fire on Galactic Marines and cause two hits, only for the Marines to roll two surges, and they spend both their tokens and pass both the saves. A wounded Phase 1 unit manages to bring down the last B2. On the opposite side of the field, B2s deal four hits to Marines and they pass all four saves. The clone commander takes out the last commando droid as it attempts to destroy the saber tank. B1s push out of cover to keep pressure on the Marines taking heavy fire. They manage to kill a single trooper. B1s fire from the trench line, dealing three crits to a weakened Phase 1 unit. The troopers fail both saves and are killed.
Galactic Marines vault over their concealment and begin the final push to the trenches, firing along the way and taking out two battle droids. B-1s fire on another unit of Marines making their final push, taking out a single trooper. The heavily suppressed Marines manage to clear all suppression and take out the wounded Droidica. B-1s fire on a unit of Marines before they begin their final push, causing no damage. Phase 1 troopers push alongside the Sabre and support the charging Marines, killing two droids. Another fresh unit of Phase 1 troopers advance against the B-1s in the open, destroying five out of eight battle droids. A tactical droid attempts to take out the incoming marines but causes no damage. A fresh unit of droidicas open fire on incoming phase 1 troopers, taking out three clones and dropping two suppression tokens on the unit. A phase 1 squad aims and takes out the remaining three droids from a unit of B1s. B1s in the trench open fire on a unit of two galactic marines, taking out both troopers. Phase 1s, perhaps a little late to the party, can only add supporting fire for the Marines making a push for the objective, killing two battle droids. B1s manage to drop another Marine on the left flank. Phase 1s continue firing on an unactivated unit of B1s, destroying a single droid. A unit of B-2 supers attempt to destroy the remaining marines on the left flank causing three hits, but the marines pass all three saves. Galactic marines open fire on advancing B-1s and manage to destroy four battle droids. Instead of returning fire, the B-1s move towards the Marines closest to the objective and open fire, but no damage is caused. The Sabre tank makes a final attempt to support the Marines' advance, finishing off a unit of B-1s and damaging the Droidica shields. A unit of B-1s make a final attempt to whittle down the Marines before they push into the trenches, only taking out a single trooper. The unyielding Marines on the left flank are too suppressed to push into the trenches, but after surviving shots from the nearby tactical droid, they take out two B-1s before falling back.
Although putting up a valiant effort, the Nova Corps were unable to take the Separatist defensive position. The advance elements of the droid army did significant damage and took too much time to destroy for the Marines to make an effective assault. Seeing his troopers being torn apart in the open, the Nova Corps commander issues a retreat order. The surviving Nova Corps escape and tend to their wounded while waiting for new orders. Suddenly a distress signal is broadcast over GAR comms. The troopers look to the sky as a burning pelt of medical transport falls from orbit near their position. The Nova Corps commander gathers his men and sets out for the crash site, intent on defending the survivors and retrieving medical supplies for his wounded. If you made it this far, I hope you enjoyed the battle. And as always, I really appreciate your time and your feedback. The next battle will hopefully be out towards Christmas time. It'll be an even larger mass battle than the first game, featuring some new awesome units, terrain, and a really unique scenario. A smaller game may pop up in between then and now, depending on how much time I if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing, and make sure to leave your thoughts and feedback below. Thanks.